Hello students, welcome to our physics classes. In our last class, we have derived the equation for speed of a traveling wave and is equal to delta x by delta t, which is equal to omega by k. And after substituting the equations of omega and k, we had find out this speed is equal to lambda by t. Right? This is our last class. And in our today's class, we are going to discuss about speed of a transverse wave speed of a transverse wave on a structured stream on a structured stream and we know that this transverse wave is a mechanical wave in our first class we had discussed about this mechanical waves did you remember and the speed of every mechanical wave the speed of every mechanical wave depends on the restoring force the restoring force and also on the inertial properties inertial properties and coming to the structured string the restoring force in a string is the tension the restoring force in a string is the tension and the coming to the inertial properties for structured string the inertial property is inertial properties the inertial properties is the linear mass density here the inertial property is a linear mass density which is uh, denoted with the mu and is equal to mass per length mass of the string per length of the string and coming to this restoring force to understand this I have taken one string and one end of the string is one end of the string is attached to the roof and to the other end I had applied some weight because of this weight there will be a restoring force arising in the string which will be in opposite direction to this weight and which is nothing but the tension okay and coming to the linear mass density vibrations number of vibrations number of vibrations in the string increases number of vibrations in the string increases as this linear mass density decreases for example I have a thin string and a thick string okay so you just pull both the strings and leave it okay the number of vibrations in this string is more compared to this string why because the linear mass density here is more and linear mass density in this string is less we just compare these two strings here the linear mass density is more and here the linear mass density is less and vibrations vibrations in this string is more compared to this string as the vibrations increases speed of the wave increases and as the vibrations decreases speed of the wave decreases therefore here the speed of the wave is inversely proportional to this linear mass density speed of the wave increases as the linear mass density decreases and speed of the wave decreases as the linear mass density increases okay here coming to here as the weight increases tension increases tension in the string increases right and the speed the speed also increases therefore this speed of the wave is directly proportional to the tension okay whenever you tie this string very tightly the tension increases and vibrations also increases whenever you tie this string very loosely whenever you tie this string very loosely and you just pull it and left it then as the tension in the string is uh, less number of vibrations also less you just compare these two strings here the tension is more the speed is more why because number of vibrations are more here tension is less the speed is less why because number of vibrations in the string is very less comparing to this string so, so from these two examples you can say that the speed of the 
wave depends on this tension and also linear mass density and is directly proportional to the tension and inversely proportional to this linear mass density okay and i want to find out the exact formula i want to find out the exact formula for this speed of the wave for that purpose i am considering the dimensional formulas dimensional formulas dimensional formula for linear mass density and also for the tension and coming to this linear mass density what is the formula for linear mass density mass per length and we always derive the dimensional formula in terms of mass length and time right here the dimensional formula for linear mass density is we, uh, here mass is denoted with m and length is denoted with l and there is no time in this equation therefore we have t power 0 and coming to the mass and length we have m power 1 L power minus 1. This is the dimensional formula for linear mass density. And coming to this tension, this tension is nothing but the restoring force and the units for force. And the units for force are kg meter per second square. Okay, and coming to the dimensional formula for the tension, kg, kg is nothing but mass m and meter is nothing but length L. And here we have time t, t power minus 2. This is the dimensional formula for tension. And coming to the dimensional formula for the speed. Speed is nothing but change of length with respect to time t. Okay. And the dimensional formula for the speed is delta x is nothing but length L. And uh, divided by t time t power minus 1 and there is no mass in this equation therefore i have taken m power 0 these are the dimensional formulas from these dimensional formulas i am going to derive the exact formula for speed of a transverse wave on a stretched string okay i had i had already told you that the speed is directly proportional to the tension and inversely proportional to the linear mass density right and we know that this tension the dimensional formula for tension is m l t power minus 2 and the dimensional formula for linear mass density is m l power minus 1 t power 0 right this will be equal to this t by mu is equal to mass mass get cancelled we left with l power to t power minus 2 okay and I am rewriting this equation as L into t power minus 1 whole square. Okay, which is nothing but t by mu. And this t by mu is equal to from this equation V is equal to L into t power minus 1. Here we left with L into t power minus 1 nothing but V. Okay, therefore this t by mu is equal to V square. Okay, and uh, I have taken here this V is directly proportional to T by mu. T by mu. Therefore, I am taking here proportionality. Therefore, this V square is directly proportional to T by mu. And I am removing this proportionality. I am removing this uh, proportionality. Before removing, what I am doing? I am bringing this square towards left, right hand side. Therefore, this V is proportional to T by mu. Okay. I want to remove this proportionality. Therefore, this V is equal to C into square root of T by mu. This is nothing but proportionality constant. This is nothing but proportionality. Proportionality constant. Okay. And whose value is equal to 1. Through experiments, we had found out this uh, value which is equal to 1. This C is equal to 1. And if you substitute in this equation, the speed of the transverse wave is equal to square root of T by mu. This is the equation for the speed of a transverse wave on a stretched string. You just copy this. Don't take this screenshot. You have to copy this in your notebook.